with you now fellas here we go we've got the pan hit pale ale quick change xba 4.8 percent clean filtered 4.8 percent toasty very clean very um balanced Biscuity, very nothing sort of standing out, which is actually good. It's got a bit of flavour. It's not um, lacking in flavour. It doesn't have a weird flavour. Oh, that's a pretty good trinker. I can handle that. Yeah, nice one. All right, Panhead, where, where are they from? I'll let you know. Here we go. they got got... Um, Oh, XBA means extra pale with a lighter malt base. The delicate hue undercut by a glorious hit of alpha oils from Mosaic, Galaxy and Citra hops. You don't always want your mouth flayed raw and your liver work to a stand still, which mine does most nights. A few luscious notes of mango, guava, lychee and pineapple can be just the thing. Well... Those notes are very light on. I mean, with six and a half percent, they're probably more pronounced, but at the moment, they're nothing. They're, you know, on the nose, a little bit of fruit, off the tongue, a bit of guava, I guess, after reading it. Not much of the others they mentioned. I'd say it's got a bit of a guava back flavour to it. I don't want to carry on about this and that, but when it comes down to it, it's not a bad beer. It's not too in your face. Yeah, pretty good. You travel the world, you have a beer like that in a pub over in Europe, and you'd be happy enough. Yeah, oh yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Have a couple of them, a couple of steins. Yeah, I don't mind that. Thanks, Panhead. You've done pretty well. 4.8. Yeah, pretty light on. That's a easy scoffer with a bit, quite a bit of flavour. So it's pretty good. All right, travel stories. Well, I haven't booked any holidays. I'm heading up to Queensland probably in the next couple of months, I reckon. And I'm not sure where else to go. I wouldn't mind winning Tatslotto and just go and travel on the world for the rest of my life, drinking all the best beers. Anyone want to send me a Tats Lotto ticket? I'd be very wrapped. I'll just buy one for yourself, and if you win, give me halves. I'll be even more wrapped with your honesty. All right, I had an auntie, a great auntie, actually, who was also my my godmother, and she bought a Tats ticket to share with her friend, and she won first division, but. Um, she ran off all the money. No, she didn't. She shared the money, as you would, and gave a friend half a million, or a quarter of a million pounds. There you go. There's your winnings. A friend nearly had a heart attack when she rocked up and gave her the check. And said, you're kidding. Quarter of a million pounds in 1966? You're kidding. So they go... The brand new car to me, old man, the HR special. And went out and bought a Merc. Well, wouldn't you? And they bought the land next to our house and built a house and lived there for a while. And then moved to Queensland. Yeah, what a, what a great thing. So, if you put me in your tats ticket and you don't give me the money, you'll probably end up having a shit life. Just give me half the money, whatever it is. You win 20 bucks, give me 10. I'll give you $10 worth of my time on uh, YouTube. And if you give me more than 10 bucks, I'll fucking drop dead. Anyway, cheers for honesty in the world. That's a lovely thing. And it paid off. My auntie had a great life, uncle and auntie. But... There's a sad tale to this story. 
Why did they win tats? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they didn't, they they wanted, but they couldn't have children. I think my great auntie had a miscarriage or two, and there, yeah, that was it. Time was up. So those people out there that win tats lotto and have these huge wins or keep winning all the time, have a look at their other part of their life where they haven't got the luck because no one gets the luck in everything just remember that this is a really important thing all they wanted to have was children and couldn't have them so they won tats lotto instead it's the second prize really isn't it doesn't doesn't really do it does it anyway it is what it is so go out there and um Go and win Tatsalo, don't have any kids, and make a life of what you can with a bit of money. I don't know. It's cruel, isn't it? I want her to have a big family and end up with one daughter. Anyway, she's my daughter, at least I can say that. There's a few of my mates that got kids, and I'm a bit worried that these kids aren't theirs. They look completely different, act different. Anyway, but that's that's what it is in this world. You don't know what you're going to get. I think it's 40% of children in Australia aren't actually the father's DNA. They're actually the mother's slept, slept around and had the, the second child with someone else, get a bit of different DNA. I noticed that with my mate. One of my mates that passed away a few years ago, he was the same. His wife said oh no nah. i've got to have more kids with you know a different man so her first kid looks like him and the second kid looks nothing like him at all um and i could go on and on and on i've got many cases of this and they do it to search for a dna spread of their children and i think it's taught to certain races to do that you know what I mean? They, the women learn about the, the man and have a child and then they go off and have a child with another man. I know a Mauritian man also is a good friend and Patrick. And he doesn't talk to me anymore because his wife ran off and had a kid with a guy named Trevor. So that was the end of me, wasn't it? Every time he saw me, he thought of his wife rooting this other guy called Trevor and to have another kid because he said, I don't want to have another kid. I've got two. That's enough. No, I've got to have another kid. Both those women were um, of a certain religious, racial sort of persuasion. And I think it's taught to them to do that. But we won't go there. It is what it is, fellas. It's your kid or it's someone else's. Doesn't matter. They're just kids.